Hi, today we will do a quick test uh, for this uh, DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, we are using uh, this uh, Architect uh, uh, car kit remote control uh, accessory. So uh, we can use this uh, sitting inside the car to fly your aircraft with uh, a good condition and comfortable sitting inside the car. So uh, let do a demo for you. So we check on the setting, everything working okay. And we do a compass calibrate. So now we can start the car. So as you can see now, and we do a screen recorder. So now everything working well and uh, we ready for go. First record. Take off. We position landing. So as you can see me So far so good the signal.
we go to 50 meter high Actually, uh, this uh, car kit is uh, used by uh, this uh, Phantom 3 standard because this uh, the middle one is uh, for 5.8. So uh, for a Mavic, you also can be used, uh, but you just uh, need to connect this two only. So the 5.8, uh, you no need to connect. Just leave it there. By the way, uh, the Mavic kit and uh, Phantom 4 or Phantom 3 Advanced uh, or DJI Inspire, they are all using a SIM uh, car kit uh, version. They come with uh, only two cable. Uh, this is uh, different because this is for a uh, standard version. So far, the signal is still very strong, uh, very stable. Now we have a six, 17, a 16 satellite. Now 90% uh, battery and uh, distance about uh, 1000. We maintain the altitude uh, 50 meter. So the pilot actually now they can using this kit uh, sitting inside the car with a uh, air conditioner to fly your uh, aircraft even though outside is a uh, very uh, hot or very sunny day so uh, just sitting inside the car. And by the way, that uh, car kit actually is not uh, for testing the range. It's just for you to uh, uh, sitting inside the car to uh, fly your drone uh, and uh, somewhere around to capture a nice moment video or uh, photo. We using uh, this uh, only directional antenna uh, for more better uh, this uh, antenna range coverage. If you are using a panel and then also can, but you need to uh, adjust the uh, angle uh, during your fly. Uh, a bit uh, difficult because you are now sitting in the car and the antenna is uh, on, on roof or top of your uh, car. So we recommend you use an uh, uh, omnidirectional antenna. Now we are approaching about uh, 2000. Uh, the, the altitude is still maintained at 50. So far, the signal and the uh, live view uh, drop a bit, but uh, still very clear, very smooth. Today weather, uh, weather is uh, quite good. <clears throat> so now, two thousand seven meter. <clears throat> A battery now is seventy seven per cent.
We are now on 3000 meter. So the range actually is not too bad, uh, very smooth and the live view also very clear. If compared to the stock antenna, the stock antenna uh, I think will be uh, cut off or on and off, on and off for the live view because uh, early day I, I have tested the uh, stock antenna. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, demo video. So if you uh, have any question, uh, you can uh, write down your uh, question on our video below and we will uh, answer your question. Or you can join to our Facebook, uh, Facebook uh, support group. Uh, I will uh, write down the uh, link on the description there. By the way, now it's almost uh, 3009. Uh, battery is still have 69 percent so far the signal is still very strong i hope you can see my phone here for the live Before that, we testing uh, the range uh, not that far because of the uh, the time uh, the wings are very strong. So the the aircraft is fighting the wing. Then we take a lot of battery. Sometimes you will need to uh, depends on uh, weather and uh, environment as well. If that uh, area is a uh, very strong wings, so we will not recommend to fly this uh, aircraft because uh, they take a battery a lot, and then you can't get a uh, good performance range. Now we're getting a four thousand six. So we skip first and we try to go further more until we go to uh, 60 percent. So now it's 5000. So now it's 60% for the uh, safety purposes, we need to return the home. Go home. 5,001, about 5,002. The range actually is quite good. So remember, uh, fly safe. When the, the DJI Go S prompt you to return the home, uh, you need to return home for the safety.
so far I'm happy with the range even though I'm using a car kit also I can go to the 5000 meter It's still got 5, 3,005 meter and the battery now uh, 51% It should be enough to return to home So we still got 2,000 some more. So always remember, fly safe. Don't try to uh, over the record for the range. Uh, I'm sure you will lose your aircraft because of the, uh, you skip that uh, DJI Go prompt you the uh, battery need to uh, return to home. So we still got 44% battery and about 2,002 meter. You remember always need to uh, monitoring this uh, battery guideline, then you will be safe. But sometimes that uh, firmware also it will cause the range uh, to drop uh, a lot. So we will we, we will need to try uh, different version of the uh, firmware as well with the, the DJI Go uh, apps version. Now we still got 1,004, almost reaching the home, and the battery we left about 38 percent. Uh, and the battery indicated now we get back to the uh, green color. That means it's a uh, safe. Still, still got 600 meter. It's almost back to the home, so we can go outside and see. So I can see him is uh, on the way back. 